Have you ever wondered about the intriguing details behind the Iger sanction? Released in 1975, this movie offers not only suspense, but also a plethora of amusing, shocking, and poignant anecdotes. Starring Clint Eastwood in one of his most memorable roles, the film follows an art history professor who doubles as a hired assassin. As the plot unfolds amidst breathtaking mountain scenery, viewers are in for a roller coaster of emotions. Keep watching this video as we delve into lesser known facts and explore the standout performances that make this film a classic. Which character resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories and memories. In 1975, the Iger sanction hit theaters, leaving a lasting impression. Directed by Clint Eastwood, the film garnered praise for its thrilling story and intense action scenes. Eastwood's performance added depth to the character, making him relatable. The movie influenced popular culture, sparking interest in mountain climbing and espionage. It also inspired similar films, and merchandise became popular among fans. The Iger sanction helped Clint Eastwood solidify his position in Hollywood. Over the years, the movie continued to entertain audiences through reruns and home releases. References to it still pop up in various media forms today. In the Iger Sanction, the nurse attending to Mr. Dragon is named Miss Cerberus, drawing from Greek mythology's Guardian of the Underworld. Her name adds a mysterious and symbolic touch, mirroring the mythical creature's vigilant aura in her role. The movie's backdrop in Utah contributes to its allure. Filmed against the rugged beauty of Zion National Park, the majestic Iger is portrayed by the awe-inspiring peaks. These scenic views aren't just settings, they play a vital role in heightening the drama on screen. Originally intended as a showcase for Paul Newman, the film evolved into a spy thriller. While its origins shifted, the story's essence remains compelling. With mythic allusions and breathtaking scenery, the Iger Sanction delivers an unforgettable viewing experience, showcasing cinema's power to transport audiences. In summary, the movie weaves together mythology, landscape, and cinematic craftsmanship for an unforgettable experience. Its impact speaks to the artistry of those involved, leaving a lasting impression on cinema. The Iger Sanction is a 1975 film notable for its action-packed storyline. It's known for its memorable scenes and gripping plot. The daughter of the main character works as a teacher and is married to Toby Murray Roman III from a wealthy family. The film's lead once walked out of an interview when asked about his kids. Additionally, he presented an award at the 72nd Academy Awards. This movie remains a classic in the action genre. During filming, Clint Eastwood once punched a door, hurting his hand. Later, a palm reader looked at his bleeding hand and said he seemed calm. Even though he was in pain, he stayed cool. Fans and critics really like him. In a scene from a movie, he and George Kennedy drink beer from Olympia Brewing Company. These stories show how tough and dedicated Clint Eastwood is. He's known all over the world for his movies. The author of The Iger Sanction, Rod Whittaker, didn't like the movie based on his book. He called it vapid and blamed it for the death of a young climber. Clint Eastwood, the actor, had a rocky marriage with Maggie Johnson. They were separated for six years before divorcing in 1984. After the divorce, Johnson married Henry Winberg, but their marriage ended in 1989. Surprisingly, Winberg, who was 58 in 1992, married a 19-year-old. Clint Eastwood served in the Army between 1951 and 1953, working as a lifeguard and showing training films. He avoided combat in Korea, possibly thanks to his relationship with a Fort Ord officer's daughter. Despite Whitaker's dislike, the Iger sanction remains a significant part of Clint Eastwood's career, connecting to his personal life and military service. Clint Eastwood took on the lead role in the Iger sanction after passing on a part in The Towering Inferno. In the film, he performed all of his stunts, including a daring scene where he cuts his safety line over a perilous drop of at least 1,000 feet. However, a dummy was used for a particularly hazardous two 500-foot descent, Eastwood collaborated on six films with his former partner Sandra Locke, spanning from the outlaw Josie Wales to Sudden Impact. Their professional relationship was notable in the context of their shared cinematic endeavors. The Iger Sanction, a 1975 movie, features Clint Eastwood as the lead character. Interestingly, a waitress Eastwood was dating at the time has a speaking part in this movie, according to Paul E. Lippmann. 
Eastwood, known for his role as Blondie in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, earned acclaim with his performance, ranking 50 on Premiere Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. In 2017, Sofia Coppola remade another 1971 film, The Beguiled, starring Colin Farrell, who shares a birthday with Eastwood. Farrell was 41 at the time of its release, the same age Eastwood was in the original. In 1975, Clint Eastwood directed The Iger Sanction, a gripping action thriller that showcased a different side of the actor known for his roles in movies like Dirty Harry, The Outlaw Josie Wales, and Unforgiven. In the film, Eastwood plays Dr. Jonathan Hemlock, a former assassin turned art professor coerced into one last mission on the treacherous Iger Mountain in Switzerland. As Hemlock navigates the challenging climb, audiences are taken on a suspenseful journey, departing from Eastwood's usual tough guy roles. Eastwood's portrayal of Hemlock adds depth to the character, blending action with suspense and intrigue. The movie features stunning mountain scenery and intense climbing sequences that keep viewers on the edge of their seats. Despite its success at the box office, the film received mixed reviews. Some praised its suspenseful plot and thrilling action scenes, while others criticized pacing and characterization. Beyond Eastwood's performance, the Iger Sanction is notable for its impact on the action thriller genre and its portrayal of mountain climbing. It remains a cult favorite among Eastwood's fans, offering a unique entry in his filmography. In 2006, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and First Lady Maria Shriver inducted Eastwood into the California Hall of Fame, recognizing his lasting influence on cinema. The Iger Sanction features Clint Eastwood in a lead role alongside actress Shirley MacLaine. This marks one of the few instances where Eastwood starred opposite an actress of similar stature. The movie, released in 1975, centers around a mountain climber, an assassin played by Eastwood. Beyond the film, Eastwood's personal life saw notable events. In December 1976, Cassidy, Eastwood's ex-wife, Shirley Jones, declined his invitation for drinks. Later that night, while intoxicated, he accidentally set fire to his apartment, resulting in significant damage. Eastwood's personal life took another turn when he met his ex-wife, Dina Ruiz, a former television news anchor reporter. They crossed paths during an interview for a local TV station in April 1993. Despite not initially dating due to Eastwood's previous relationship, they eventually became public as a couple in February 1995. The Iger Sanction, released in 1975, featured two custom Ford Broncos, one for filming and another as a support vehicle. The support truck, similar to the film truck, but with enhancements, is privately owned, while the fate of the film truck remains unknown. During a pivotal scene at 1 hour, 43 minutes, and 55 seconds, a lead climber appears to disturb carefully placed rocks, triggering a rock fall. The peculiar setup raises questions about the authenticity of the scene. Sergio Leone approached the cast of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, including Clint Eastwood, Eli Wallach, and Lee Van Cleef, for roles in Once Upon a Time in the West. However, scheduling conflicts or character fate concerns led to their non-involvement. Instead, Leon cast other actors for the scene. 